There you go. Oh my goodness. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that most golfers dream of, breaking 80. Now, we all know that golf is a game of skill, precision, and mental toughness. And when you add strong winds and challenging course conditions, it becomes even more difficult to achieve your best score. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a recent round of golf where I struggle with strong winds and I don't have my best game. I'm gonna share with you my top tips for dealing with tough course conditions and how I stay focused and positive when things aren't going my way. Let's get started right now. Off to the first hole of a day. It's a very simple, straightforward par five. The wind's a little bit into, so I'm gonna hit driver, aiming it right at the building. Uh, I'm wiping everything today, but just leave this one a little bit out to the right, but a little bit out to the right is okay. It gives us a pretty good approach into the green. Now I've got about 246 yards in here. I can probably get that with five wood. Uh, I hit this one just a little bit heavy, but it comes out dead straight. Leaves me just short and left of the pin. Not a bad place to try to get it up and down from. Then I got a simple 30 yard chip, hit it in here with a lob wedge, pretty good contact. Uh, get some nice spin on it, but I just throw it a little bit long, maybe about 10, 15 feet past the hole. And this green slopes severely back to front. And again, I'm trying to make birdie here, not being really smart with this and just end up running this one about four or five feet past. Definitely could have been a little bit more cautious with this putt and just kind of lag it down to the hole and let whatever was gonna happen happen. End up not making the putt on the way back and three putt to start the day for a bogey on a par five. Definitely not a good way to start a round. All right, we got ourselves a pretty short par four here. It's always left off of this tee because there's water right. You can pretty much miss it as far left as you want to, and you're still gonna have a pretty quick shot back into the green. Didn't come back at all. Uh, and then I've got about 76 yards here to the flag. I hit this shot really well, but again, we're into wind and the ball is just spinning, lands on the green and just zips straight off the front about 15, oh, no, no, 20 no, yards. No, no, don't zip off. I was able to get this one up to the hole inside about two and a half feet. We are playing match play, so there are a few putts in here that are just going to be given inside of two or three feet. I know obviously that doesn't technically count towards a full score, but Thank you, you know, sir. I'm trying to keep the pace of play moving. It is a busy Saturday, and uh, I do have a few shots in here that I just wasn't able to capture on, uh, on film. So sorry about that. Moving on, we got our par three. It's playing a little bit long today. I chose five iron, and I thought it was the right club, and I was pretty confident with this swing absolutely flushed it it just did not turn over for me um hit it dead straight and it just bounced off the back left of the green and went down was not completely focused here and just sculpt this thing about 40 maybe 50 yards on the other side of the green fortunately i was able to get in here hit a pretty good wedge shot there you go threw some sauce on it oh oh, what a lovely shot to see been working on my short game stops about a foot and a half short of the flag uh putt was given went ahead and got out of there with the bogey on to a par four. I just wiped this one a little bit out to the right and it's just not getting the distance into the wind. Again, it's blowing very strong. So get up here. I've got about 156 yards of the flag. I take a seven iron. Just thinking I'm gonna cut it a little bit long and just over to the right of the flag. I hit a pretty good shot on it, but ended up leaving it about 50, 60 yards right of the uh, hole itself. Hit a really great lag putt here again, something I've been working on. This is a very sloping green. Lag it up to about, I think, want to say maybe three feet ish, just outside of, you know, just outside of two and a half feet. Pretty easy uh, putt from there. Again, it was given. We are playing match play, but very confident I would have been able to easily make that putt from inside of three feet. Moving on to the par three, yet another long one. It's playing about 200 yards. I'm playing a five iron, and I just wiped this one off the face of the earth. I'm not happy about how I tend to, you know, let go of my clubs after a poor swing. Definitely something I'm working on. Not a great attitude to have when you're out there on the golf course. Just want to call that out. End up chunking this wedge a little bit short of the green. I uh, had the great idea, just not the right execution. Leave myself at about a 20 foot putt uphill. Again, just trying to get this thing up to the uh, hole. I'm not trying to make this any more worse than it has to be. Walk out of this hole with a pretty easy bogey uh, at 200 yards. I'm not too mad about it, but definitely could have played that chip a lot better. Moving on to the par four, I hit a pretty good drive on this thing, but it just leaks over into the bunker, but all in all, really great swing. 
And again, the wind is really far down. I make great contact with this out of the sand and I just send it too high. It rides the wind and it just goes long of this green. And long is the last place you really wanna be on this hole, not having fun with these wind conditions. I hit a pretty good chip shot, as you can see from behind the green behind this tree, throw it to about six feet. And I'd say from where I was at, below the green, that was a pretty good shot. Got a six foot putt here to make it for par. Just leave it a little bit out to the left. Unfortunately, I don't make this one. Another bogey on the card. Got uh, another par three, and I just, again, not hitting a really good shot here. My swing is not working for me. Leak this one out to the right, and ends up plugging in a bunker, and I got a nasty lie. At this point, I'm just trying to whack this thing out of here, and I fortunately get away with a really good lucky bounce out of the bunker and leave it about 10, 12 feet high of the hole. I do my best here to make a good putt. Uh, the green is kind of a little bit under repair, so it's like Plinko. I put a good roll on it. It's gonna be almost impossible to make that putt with the greens in these conditions. Pretty satisfied with that putt. Again, not having my best swing on me, putting very wipey, just drives on everything, getting caught up into the wind, ballooning. I get up here and I know I can't reach the green, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit a three wood to just try to send it left of this tall tree on the uh, on the back side of the fairway. Put a really good strike on the ball, but again, it's just the wind is just really blowing hard off the left and into, not really able to keep this thing as long as I'd like to. I tried to hit what felt like a knockdown gap wedge shot here to deal with the wind, and for whatever reason, this ball just went long, like over the green. Couldn't quite figure out why the wind was just really punishing me, but you know, it is what it is. I'm getting very frustrated, but just trying to keep my cool. I get up here, I make a pretty decent chip, but it ends up grabbing on me and just ends up leaving it a lot uh, shorter than I really wanted it to. I'm gonna have a pretty tough putt here to make par. Got a nice 11 footer down the hill, put a good putt on it, but again, or a good swing on it, just don't make the putt. And again, making another six on a five, really not where I wanna be. Duck hooked this one straight into the net, and I just don't know what happened here. Just a bad swing, yeah, bad cool. focus, just not really feeling it, really reacting to the wind. I go ahead and play a punch out shot here, just don't keep it low enough, end up accidentally hitting this branch, but the ball does skirt through and get back into the fairway. And then I'm left up here with a pretty tough shot into the wind, and I put an absolutely fantastic swing on it with a nine iron, end up leaving this ball just about maybe six feet, seven feet right of the flag. Probably the best swing I hit all day throughout this round. Uh, just very committed and just staying focused on hitting a good contact. Got a nice little six foot putt here, put a good roll on it, but just ever so slightly lips out. Again, taking down another bogey and starting off the front nine with a very, very frustrating score to start. Onto the back nine, and I know that I've got you know some work ahead of me to do. So at this point, I'm just focusing on really good contact, trying to put a solid face on the ball to control my ball in these wind conditions. Hit a really good drive on the 10th tee. Uh, pick extra club here because I'm playing dead into the wind. It's probably blowing about 12 miles back into. This uh, sand wedge stalls in the air, but I played it full and left myself a pretty good look at birdie. Put a really good roll on the putt, just didn't quite make it, left it a little bit short, but all in all, that's a pretty easy par in tough conditions. Moving on to the par three, we got again, 173 yards. I took a six iron just because we're a little bit into win. Hit it very good, it's not turning on me because I'm really focusing on great strike. And I just land a little bit left of the green. Not necessarily a bad place to get up and down from, but not the easiest. Hit myself a fantastic chip here, landed perfectly in the fringe, rolls down the green out to about five feet, and I've got myself a pretty uh, straightforward uh, comeback for par save. Get that bad boy in the hole, definitely a little fist pump there to celebrate that win. Got a long par five here, again, into the win. I'm not gonna try to control this wipey cut, I'm just gonna play it all day, aim a little bit further left and just accept what I've brought to the course. I'm easily 300 plus yards out, so I'm gonna take another three wood, just hit it as hard as I can, make a good center contact on it, send it straight down the fairway, give myself a good look at the hole. I've got, again, another full sand wedge into here, hit it into the wind, it stalls up and it just starts to spin back off of the green. Didn't really account for that, but again, it is what it is. Got a pretty long putt here. Don't give this a full good commitment and just end up leaving this thing like 12, maybe 13 feet short. Definitely could have hit a better putt here, but I managed to get above this ball and uh, put a good roll on it. And every once in a while when you put a good roll on it, sometimes it goes in. Very happy about that. Save the par out of here magically. Super excited about that. Uh, don't, not sure what happened here. Just poor contact with the ball. Ended up just topping it straight into the fairway. Yeah, tops do happen, but I'm taking it on the chin and just smiling about it, being happy. 
Go ahead, I got 200 yards in here, hit a five iron up to the front of the green, catch it a little heavy, but you know, I'm not upset about it. It is what it is. We don't have our best stuff today. We're gonna work what we got. I hit a wedge shot here, which I thought was gonna be a really nice shot that grabbed, but it didn't. It hit the green and just released really far back to the hole. But fortunately, again, the putter is on fuego. It's on fire, able to get up here, put a good stroke on the ball, perfect speed. Again, just so happens to go in the hole. Long par three here, four hybrid, just flare it out to the right. Again, not a good attitude to be dropping clubs on the golf course. Definitely something I want to get rid of out of my game, but I hit an absolutely fantastic wedge shot up to the uh, center of the green. And I got a nice little three foot putt to save par again. Getting out of here and just using short game, just scrambling all around the hole. Uh, next hole, long par five, put a pretty good swing on this ball, but again, it's just dead into wind, and if you're gonna be wiping it, it's gonna be spinning up, don't get much distance on it. Got a five wood, about 230 or 240 something at yards. I hit this one dead front of the green. Playing this hole a lot smarter last time, just leaving it front and short, which is the optimal miss when you're this far out. I hit a really good chip here, but just catch it a little heavy, and man, it just does not stop. Releases out behind the hole, almost what, 12, 13 feet. Can't make these all day, put a good roll on the ball, ends up getting a sniff at the hole, but just doesn't quite drop, that's okay. We played this hole the best we could to our ability. It's a long par four, sometimes you're gonna make bogeys on these. Didn't recognize this, but apparently somebody hit a really low scud missile shot that rolled up on the tee box. Uh, again, put a good swing on this ball. I had my hands wet and for whatever reason, the club slipped straight out of my hand. I swear to you, I did not try to drop that club. My hands were literally wet because I had wet my towel and I was loosely gripping it, it fell out of my hand, but I hit a really good drive. Got a seven iron in here, fat the mess out of it. Just not a good swing. I don't know if it was into the sun that was messing with me, but get up here, I got a nice 70 some out yard shot with a sand wedge. This thing just goes long. I Again, I can't tell you for the life of me why this shot went so long. I had almost 80 foot putt down the hill and I put a really good roll on it. And I swear to you not, if this flag stick had not been in the hole, I swear this thing would have went in. I'm just seeing the lines today and just hitting putts very well. Bounces out, take myself a par. Onto the 17th hole, hit a very long worm burger and just a straight line drive. Not striping it well at all, not good contact, but worm burner straight out to the center of the fairway. Got a pitching wedge into this uh, uh, hole, a little bit downwind, and I hit it absolutely perfect. Probably the second best shot of the round today. Got myself a nice little 13 foot look for a birdie. Go ahead and put a good roll on this ball and just let the hole get in the way. Bam, first birdie of the day, super excited for that one. On to the 18th and final tee. We are playing from the championship tees on the back. I'm just gonna slice this thing back into the fairway. I got no other tools in the bag but to hit this big wipey cut. Play with what you got. Get up here, I got a nine iron into the green. Pretty good consistent shot here. Put a great swing on it. Third decent swing of the day. And that's pretty much all you can ask for. Leave this bad boy in the, approximately the center of the green. Got myself a nice little putt for a birdie and in true fashion, I put a really good roll on this and almost get this bad boy in the hole. Not quite gonna do it today, but not a bad way to finish a round with a 78 on the scorecard. And the stats don't lie, clearly I didn't have my best game, was not very disciplined and focused on the front nine, but was able to bring it back on the uh, back nine. You don't have to always swing it the best, you don't have to hit all the fairways, you don't have to drive it the longest, your irons can be a little bit off, but if you practice your putting and your short game, when you run into days like this and you're having trouble hitting greens and putting the ball all over the place, chipping and putting will keep you alive. That's all I got for you, thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. Deuces people, let's keep it moving.